Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is um, a tutorial for fixing your Atmos heating chambers. Uh, it's been a common problem. I've researched it, looked into it. Seems like it happens with these pins from time to time. The good thing is the solution is pretty, pretty simple, pretty quick. You just need a very small flathead screwdriver and you're good to go. Um, so I've been selling these online. Most customers were happy, but you know, a few came to me saying that their heating chambers weren't working and they're following all the right instructions. They weren't putting any metallic objects or the cleaning brush or anything in the heating chamber while powering it. And still, after a couple of uses, the thing died on them. So I looked into it and here's the solution that I found that helped me fix one of my old broken heating chambers. So as you can see, I'm powering it up and we've got nothing here. So it's powered, the heating chamber is just, it's a goner. So originally I thought that it was gone for good, um, but it turns out kind of a, I don't know, poor man's solution, but you just kind of take your flathead screwdriver and the, the problem is just the, the placement of the heating coil, the wire just kind of gets messed up somehow. It could happen when you're cleaning it out or even if you just drop it or packing it. For some reason or another, the heating coil gets misplaced and it just needs to get knocked back into place. And it only took me about five seconds to get this working again. So, not working now. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. I just, I mean, it's kind of hard to show, but I just sort of moved it around, try to reset its placement, and see if it's not working yet. I can do it better if I, if I look at it, but it just kind of, I don't know, there's no real science behind it that I found, but you just try to jiggle the wire a bit. And after a while, there it goes. Yeah, it just, I just jiggled it around a bit and then now it's working again. I can go back and try and break it again and then fix it again. Um, but yeah, it's just, well, it's still, still not in the sweet spot. So I mean, obviously if you don't want to deal with all this, and get a replacement, but I got it working pretty consistently earlier, just moving the heating coil around. There it goes. Yeah, back in business. So, I mean, that's one cheap, free, quick fix. Obviously, get a replacement if you don't feel comfortable doing that, but I, I would suggest that, and yeah, you're good to go. So if, you, if you're interested in vaporizer pins, the Atmos G5 or Micro G's, I have some. Just check out my, my link below in the description and have a good one, guys.